So I got an invite to go down to Southeast Florida to fish with Brian of Pushing Water Kayak Guide Service down there. And me and Elias flew down there for two days to hopefully get offshore and fish for sailfish, king mackerel, mahi, etc. But of course the wind, you know, restricted that. But flew down there Sunday night, got to the airport around 7, loaded up Brian's truck with the Hobie Outbacks. And the three of us would depart at 2.30 in the morning to go look for inshore species on this bridge. Because the wind was blowing 25 miles an hour and we couldn't do anything else. So we fished this bridge and it was a pretty good time. So check it out. All right guys, well we made it to Florida and the wind is blowing 25 right now. Just launched in the pre-dawn hours. Snook is the target species. I'm starting off by throwing this zoom fluke on a three quarter ounce jig. So my first hookup of the night would turn out to be a tarpon. First time I ever hooked a tarpon, wasn't expecting it. I don't know, it was crazy. Check it out. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, tarpon. Oh. Damn, son, we just jumped the tarpon, dude. Holy crap, we just jumped the freaking tarpon. Holy fuck. I don't think that came out on camera at all, but uh, this jig head is trash. I need a new jig head. So we were not prepared for tarpon. We did not have proper tackle for this. We were here to fish these dock lights for snook for the most part, and that's what we did. Bam. Bam. There you go. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. A little snook. There it is. First fish. First fish of my Florida career here. Little snook. Oh yeah, he's sharp. Alright, yeah, first little Florida fish. Release him back. Alright, started throwing a smaller jig. And I hear another one popping in there, so I'll try to get another. Little snook. It's pretty shallow water under these docks. without spooking the rest oh, there he is all right that's cool man nice little snook all right went for the paddle tail there he is not bad not bad let him go all right guys we just got back to the bridge first light we're gonna jig around the nighttime wasn't bad we only fished an hour or two got a couple snook jumped a tarpon and uh I don't know, I'm gonna go back to that magic tail bucktail with the strong hook and uh, hope to catch something nice. Okay. Okay. Something. Tarpon chasing mullet right here. Tarpon chasing mullet right here. Shit you not. Oh my god. Yo! There's tarpon blowing up on mullet over here! Holy crap, dude. Holy freaking crap. They're down there. Oh my god, he's freaking popped it. Something is down there. I'm thinking it's tarpon. I honestly have no idea, but it's nice, whatever it is. Just working this bucktail up towards the surface. Kind of reeling it in quick. Dang it, I just missed one. What the heck, dude? Unbelievable. I'm 0 for 2 right now on whatever these fish are. I don't know what they are, but I've had two bites. Really hope these things stick around. Mmm, just missed them again. We're like short striking it. I just had another freaking. Oh, there it is. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, what is it? What is it? I don't think it's a tarpon. Oh, it's gotta be a snook. Oh, it's a jack. 
it. I wonder if it was just jacks. I don't know. The first first few that I saw were uh, something. Dude, I don't know, man. I never really did much in Florida, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. But that it's kind of cool to catch. There he is. We're going to let him go. Magic tail, buck tail, and the Elias shad. Got that one. That is exciting. I think that's what we're looking at here. First couple that I saw, I still kind of think we're tarping. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know, let's just keep fishing. As you can't tell, it's very rough out here. It's uh, blowing 25 miles an hour. We were hoping to get offshore and fish for sail. Ah, oh, I just missed one. Fish for sailfish. And uh, like king mackerel and some tarpon are running along the beach, but the way this wind is blowing, we got no chance. So we're in the back, trying to make it happen back here. Might need to get another shad from Elias because mine is now getting trashed. I just missed one as I was talking. We're gonna keep working this bridge. Apparently, there's some small Goliath groupers on this bridge. There's some overslot snook and uh, jacks, trout, tarpon, who knows what else. Yeah, you got another one of them Elias sheds? Yeah, I was trolling it too, right? So just like back home. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, nice. Nice looking trout. Oh, I'm in the cooler. Oh shit, I got you. Oh. 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 I got it, I got it. Thanks, dude. I went over to check out Elias, see what was going on over there. Turns out not much. At least here we got surface action. Whoa, -ho! there's one. There's one. Dang, I guess these are jack. This is a jack, I reckon. Bigger. Oh, I pulled off. Man, dude, amateur. I'm a freaking amateur. It's amateur hour out here. At least we're getting bites. That one's a little bigger. Dude, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going for the top water. We got it. We got to get a top water bite down here. So This is about the best thing I got right here. Skitter walk. I didn't bring any tactical anglers clips down here. I didn't bring much. I mean, this is the size of the mullet that I'm seeing jumping. Some of them are a little bigger, but a lot of them are this size, and these fish are chasing them, so. Rocking some 40 pound Yozuri fluoro. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get some top water ferocity going here. All right, we're gonna leave these fish that are popping. This spook is is small for this for this application. Oh, there goes something. What I'm gonna do is throw this at the shoreline and try to catch a snook. All right, yeah, this this dock here. Let's give it a shot. Try to catch something on this skitter walk. I'm telling you, I'm giving this five minutes and then we're going. Back out to that zone where the fish are popping. Oh, dude, it's too weedy over here. It's grassy. Yo, there we go. Oh, oh, dear, Jack. Get out of the piling, Jack. Oh, this one's fighting like a freaking crackhead. All right. It's a Jack. All right, well, that was pretty good. That was pretty cool. I can get down with these Jacks. 
I can get down with them. These things are actually very strong fighters. Get on up on out of there. All right, I'll let him go. All right, not bad. Didn't get any snook off this duck, but I'm gonna go back to the bucktail because there was some serious size to a couple of the fish that I saw swirling out there, so we'll go back with the magic tail. Elias Shad combo here. There's something. Another jack. Another jack. Little one. Elias Shad. Magic tail. That's what we're working with. A lot of jacks, a lot of jacks. Many jacks out here. It is treacherous out here too. There you go. Common. Jacks are common. All right, well that was a solid morning of fishing in the crazy wind. But uh, the sun is up now, the action, oh! Son! Son! This fish is crazy. Probably another jack. It's all I'm catching is jacks. About to make a move. Oh, nice snook. Hey! Hey, oh! Hey, oh! Nice snook. Yeah! Nice snook. Nice snook. All right, yo, that's a freaking sweet fish, sweet fish, man. Look at that freaking snook. That's what I'm talking about right there. Now we're talking. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that snook right there. Huh. Hard to hold. Very hard to hold. Magic tail, bucktail, doing the damage. This one's gonna be close to keeper size. I'm gonna bring them to shore and we're gonna maybe measure them. But yeah, that's sweet. I'm gonna rehook them. Yeah, we're gonna take them to shore because uh, if he's a slot, I think Elias is gonna try to cook this thing up. So, all right, all right, nice fish. We're gonna leave him hooked. I'm gonna take him in and measure him. I don't have a tape measure with me. If he gets off, he gets off. But uh, you know, he might be a slot, so. Might be good to eat. I'm just gonna leave him in the water here. Take him to shore. You might wanna measure this snook. It's close, I don't know, you know. Oof. Yo, they're hard to hold. They fight hard, right? Yeah, he fought crazy hard. Oh, that's a slot. Chris? What do we got? 29, 31. 31 and a half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Definitely one of those miracles that I landed him. I don't know, I was trolling, he hit right in the front of a bridge piling on the surface. Yeah. Of all things. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it seems like anything goes out there. Shad? On your shad. Dante's bucktail. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad size spec at least. Dude, that's a good spec, man. It's a good spec. So that would be the end of our day. Uh, we drove to another spot to try to get on some snook elsewhere, but the wind was just way too strong to do what we wanted to do. So we went back to Brian's house, we cleaned up the fish to eat them for dinner, and uh, ate them, rested up for the next day. So hopefully you enjoyed. Definitely check out Push and Water Kayak Service down in South Florida if you're ever there. And stay tuned for the next video.